recent years, it has taken not just days or weeks, but many months for the records to follow the veteran. We are finally taking steps to solve the situation once and for all. President Trump praising the VA's plan to modernize medical records. He said that on Monday of this week. That move just announced by VA Secretary Dr. David Shulkin. Secretary Shulkin joins us right now. And, of course, he had to answer the press's questions earlier in the week. Dr. Shulkin, you're not stopping there, but you are, uh, but you are saying that there's going to be a change. When, you're, when you leave the Defense Department, when you stop fighting for the country, there's going to be no gap from when you go to the VA system, correct? That's correct, Brian. It just makes sense. Uh, once you enter the military till the time all the way up to your death, you're going to be followed by one system and there's not going to be any gaps in care. And that's been a huge problem, at least to the wait times. Hey, I've just been out for a month. I need this care. I'm out. Let me get your paperwork in. Now it's all going to be electronic and quick and it's already started. But you didn't stop there. What, what passed through the Senate yesterday? Well, yesterday, fortunately, the Senate passed the accountability bill, and now we're going to see that return to the House. I expect the House will quickly uh, pass that again. They had passed it once before, and we'll get it onto the president so he can sign that and we can start making some changes. The president noticed, he tweeted this out, he uh, said that the Senate passed the VA Accountability Act. The House should get this bill to my desk as soon as possible. We cannot tolerate substandard care for our vets. So what changes? I understand one of the key changes is it's going to allow you to hire and fire. There's people that got to go that you can't get rid of. After this, you can. Yes, uh, th this bill is very important. It will allow me to make sure that we have the right people leading the VA. That means that the people that have lost their values are going to need to leave, and we're going to be able to get people in faster to make sure that we're fixing this system. It's a union. Will unions push back on this? Well, I think the union always has concerns, but we are committed to due process for people. But the union understands that the VA needs to change, that this has been long overdue. And I think that they're going to understand and work to make sure that we are able to do what we need to do to get this system fixed. Dr. Shokin, you, you were asked something in the press conference, but I don't know by whom. They said, you know, you've been with the VA before. Why is all this stuff being done now? What's the different tone in this administration as to the previous administration? Well, I think this is really the president's leadership saying that when it comes to doing the right thing for our veterans, this is a top priority. And we have to treat this as uh, different than usual. These are years and years, maybe decades of issues that haven't been dealt with. And we're going to treat this like a business and we're going to get the job done. And I'm, right. pl I'm glad to be able to do that. And you could be the guy that brings health care to the vets in a timely, uh, fast-paced, first-class manner. And that will be something uh, everyone will never forget. Dr. David Shulkin, thanks so much. Thank you. And, of course, on the, under the president's leadership.